The solar eclipse is just a few days away. You are probably planning to snap a few pictures, but hold up because shooting it wrong could ruin your camera. Channel 6 News reporter Andrew Moore spoke to a science professor and a photographer at Baylor today about what you need to know. Andrew. Leslie, as a reporter, one of the worst things that can happen to you is damaging your camera. But if you're not careful, shooting the eclipse is going to do just that, or even worse, damage your eyes. But there is a way to prevent that from happening. No matter what kind of camera you use, you need a light filter of some sort. With smartphones, you can buy a generic plastic filter or a film for this, and normally from a camera supply company. That will run you less than 20 bucks. But for a more expensive camera, you need to get a professional gel filter. That could set you back more than a hundred. But if you don't have it, the sunlight can actually damage your sensors and ruin your whole camera. The worst thing you can do, however, is look at the sun through a camera viewfinder because that can seriously damage your eye. So you're kind of like looking at the sun through a magnifying glass. So the ability to damage the retina of your eye is greatly increased. So you should never, ever, ever do that. And Schubert says the absolute safest way to photograph the eclipse is to project it onto a piece of paper with a pinhole viewer. Leslie? All right, Andrew. Funny thing, you should mention that.